This is AGP. It's a purpose-built expansion socket for GPU cards that was introduced in 1997. But that's not what I'm using it for. Hello all and welcome back to the corner. I'm a bit behind on my video schedule with two other projects that I'm really eager to get out. But to fill the content gap, I wanted to talk about AGP. Sort of. Now AGP, if you weren't aware, stands for Accelerated Graphics Port. It was designed by Intel as a way to cater to the fact that GPUs were getting bottlenecked by PCI, and so they released this to allow for faster GPU cards. AGP started appearing on late Socket 7 motherboards around about 1998, although it's probably common to see them on slot 1 and later boards. However, the AGP card in this computer here is not a GPU. So what is it? Well, it's this funky card. Now some of you might already know what this is, but for the rest of you, you're probably thinking, what on earth is that? Well, this is a piece of sales hardware, a POS USB card. It's designed for using point of sale computers to give them USB ports. And that's why the ports are so funky looking, since this is powered USB. Powered USB is a standard in point of sale hardware that not only provides the USB bus to a device such as a barcode scanner, it also provides extra power in the form of either 5 volts at up to 30 watts, 12 volts up to 72 watts, or 24 volts up to a massive 144 watts. The teal connector provides 12 volts, while the red connector provides 24 volts. And that's why there's a DC to DC boost converter on the card to take the input 12 volts and convert it to 24 volts. Alright then, but why AGP? There's clearly a header for your USB connection to the motherboard, and there's barely any pins that aren't ground, so it must be using the slot for stability and grounding. Well, actually, it is using the AGP slot, as you can see there are traces connecting to the AGP port. See, AGP actually has USB pins pass through for one port, and this card is using those pins to connect the 24V powered USB port to the motherboard without the need for a USB hub chip. But why are the USB signals here in the first place? Well, it was to facilitate the use of using a single cable to connect your monitor, keyboard and mouse by only using one cable. And for a good example of this use case, we have to look at Apple's ADC connector. Apple, during the G4 days of the year 2000, released a custom version of DVI which they called the Apple Display Connector, or ADC. This was done because Apple wanted to make your life diff- wanted to have a single cable connecting your computer to the monitor. The ADC port would provide video in the form of DVI plus USB, Firewire 400 and up to 25 volts of power. And whilst the concept worked, it didn't really stick around for that long. Apple realised that 100 watt capable ADC was not capable of driving larger displays. And in fact, ADC was abandoned when Apple launched the 30 inch Apple Cinema display which needed its own power supply to run. But it also wasn't just Apple doing this. Visa, the standards body that governs a lot of things monitor related including the mounting points on the back of most LCD monitors, also threw their hat into the all-in-one cable, starting with their Visa Enhanced Video Connector. And when that didn't take off, an unmodified version called Visa Plug and Display. You know, it's kind of funny to think of how many attempts were made to connect everything together in one cable, and yet only now we're just starting to do exactly that by using USB-C and Thunderbolt or USB 3 or 4, HDMI, DisplayPort and a myriad of other protocols all running in one single cable. Now granted, we're still using a separate power supply to run the monitors, however I do wonder if there exists a USB-C monitor that has both a USB hub built in and also runs off the power delivery spec. Comment below if you know of one. So despite Intel's original intention of helping this one cable for all front, the USB port and EGP mostly went unused, save for little devices like this, making an embedded systems designer's job just a little bit easier.